So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use existing images and uh, to create your animation. So you can see here we have a example, a quick example of Mario running. So I'm going to show you how to create that. So I'm going to go to File New again, choosing a canvas and a background uh, that you want. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I went and found images and I'm going to open them as a layer. So you can see I have a Mario 1 image with his leg up here. I'm going to file open as a layer on my Mario 2 image. And again, you can find lots of different things on the internet uh, with character or sprite sheet animations, which have different ways. Uh, so all we're going to do is we can see we have it starting here. I'm going to use my little move icon. I'm going to come to Mario 2. And I'm just going to move that image over slightly. I'm going to go to Mario 3. I'm going to move that image over slightly. Maybe a little too much there. And then I'm going to duplicate my layer one. I'm going to move that to my edge. I'm going to duplicate my layer two. I'm going to move that to the top. And I'll move that slightly over. I'm going to duplicate my layer three. Now, if I was really going for a project, and I can again duplicate my layer one, and I can just repeat this process, bringing it up to the top. I would be hiding my different layers as I go about this um, so I could see exactly how much I'm moving it over so I get a nice smooth animation. Here I'm rough guesstimating where I'm going to be, so I'm just duplicating these layers. So again, what I mean by that is I'd be hiding each of these individual layers, just making sure I move it slightly over each time. Uh, so I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to go to animation. And remembering this works just like a flip book. So when I come here and I click play, we can see my Mario running. Now, again, I would choose a PNG. My image right now has a white background. Uh, and I'd be moving, hiding those layers so I could get nice smooth animation. We can see because I'm using uh, the white background there instead of a PNG, I kind of get that little overlap on that last image. But again, that could all be solved by moving your layer specifically overlapping and using a PNG instead of a, a background with a white background for this animation. So I hope this helps as you look into creating your animated graphics in GIMP. Now, just as a reminder, we're going to go file, we're going to export this as, and we're going to export it as a GIF. Now, you're going to do it as animation. You can loop it forever and define how much time you want between each of the animation layers. Again, you need to do that there if all the times are exactly the same. If you're going to define it as different times, I would suggest coming up here doing in parentheses the amount of milliseconds in, that you'd want, but you'd have to define each layer. If I was doing it this way, I would have done one, two, and three. I would have defined those, then duplicated them, so each of those layers went along as we came by. So I hope this helps.